You're not gonna believe what I just did to French toast. I am better for this. Mix it with this. Well, not this specific set. I'm gonna make one separate piece. Um, specifically with G Fuel, I want to put enough in that it makes the color of the French toast the color of the faithful Fortnite juice, the chug rug. And so I'm going to have a piece of blue French toast, and it is going to have a G Fuel flavor to it. Question, will this work? I don't know. I think it's going to turn out terribly, but I'm going to try it anyways, because why not? <laughs> G Fuel is amazing and belongs on everything, okay? This is the truth. Better believe it. Okay, what am I going to do for it exactly? An egg? garbage to the egg. Now how much G fuel do I want to add for one piece of French toast? Start with that much. That's about a sixth of a scoop. Because I want this to have a chance at turning out well. Tiny bit of sugar, not much. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna put this away. We know more eggs. I almost put. Okay. The eggs don't go here. They go in the fridge. The sugar goes up here. Okay. Cool. Then personal thought of mine. That nutmeg belongs on French toast, but I'm not going to put enough so as to change the color, merely enhance the flavor. Okay. grainy color and it needs to be blended a little bit more, but that's not enough of the powder. So I'm going to add about the same that I added before. Try to get that perfect amount. Okay. Madman, and that's okay. Now I know that yellow and blue make green. That's just how it's going to be. But I want it to be a little more blue toned than that, because that is currently a light green. It's not a bad color, but it is not the desired color. So a tiny bit more in, and okay. So now it's green. Now I have an idea. Because it's not a color that we desire. Solution number two, add a different kind of G Fuel. This is Twisted Candy. I'd say one of the, my favorites, not quite my favorite, but, and it has like a greenish yellow color to it. 
So I'm not going to add too much of this. It's going to have a similar color, just merely to enhance the flavor. Now we're probably about half a scoop of what you put in a cup inside of this. Now this is quite, quite the concoction. Perfect. So it is a definitely a green color, which I mean that's to be expected. After all, I added something that's color is green, and the color is blue, and the base is yellow. So color stuff. Now I should have turned on the element originally. This needs to be washed. Y'all yeet to that, am I right? Wait, isn't that a spatula? Must be in the washer. Oh, I actually locked the washer. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got our handy funky spatula here. Gonna get me a wad of butter. Now, I recommend cooking with butter over oil, because one, butter tastes better. And two, if you cook, like, if you put it on high heat, at first, the butter will get brown, but then you lower the heat, not too much, probably about low-medium-ish area, and you have a nice brown butter of sauce. And, uh, yeah, so it's a good old amount of butter right there. I'm gonna use what's left of that for my other ones. I'll probably end up needing more butter because butter is very good on this stuff. Take a piece of my squash loaf of bread. Look at this. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. I was just asked what French toast is, I think. And I'm very confused at how somebody doesn't know what French toast is. And it's perfect because since it's squashed, it kind of fits in. Oh gosh. Just get it all right in there. As Bob Ross would say, let's make it a happy accident. Oh gosh. This looks so messed up, dude. It's so stupid. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the heat. It's not 100%. Wait for a specific time to put it on. No, there's that like prime time. There we go. Perfect. And we got a little bit extra. Might fry that on the side and see how it tastes on its own. Probably gonna be. Let's face it, this is a stupid idea, okay? I've been recording for eight minutes. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> the question is, to syrup or not to syrup? Unfortunately, I don't have real maple syrup. I just have the, you know, the sugar trash. But it is what it is. I got what I got. I didn't buy it, my dad did. He don't, he think that they taste the same. <laughs> They don't, sweetie. They don't. Okay. So, I went ahead and finished the piece. This is the aesthetic. Nice char marks, you know. Nice and cooked. Has no soft spots, nothing uncooked, which is nice. Now I'm going to first try a piece without any syrup or anything added. I think I'm a genius. Oh, I thought this was going to be terrible, but this actually tastes legit, bro. Oh my gosh. I don't, you don't need syrup for this either. This tastes great. Probably because I added sugar and a whole bunch of G Fuel. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid, but it's great. 
so that's that. I thought this was going to be terrible. But G Fuel, you know, like Frank's Red Hot, that stuff goes on everything. 